What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to be talking about with you guys. Of course, following the not so surprising first round exit by the Portland Trailblazers and following the, of course, announcement by Woj that Terry Scott and, of course, the Portland Trailblazers would, of course, be a parting ways. There have been a lot of news going on around you know, Terry Stotts, of course, potentially, him going to a different team, and the star player of the Portland Trailblazers, one of the best they've had ever in their franchise, Damian Lillard, reportedly, he could potentially look to request a trade if things don't go the way that he wants. Now, there has been a lot of news that he actually wants them to hire Jason Kidd. I think that the Trailblazers will look at this in three different spots. The dumb one, you of course don't hire Jason Kidd, and you, of course Damian Lillard will probably request a trade. The second one, you do hire Jason Kidd, everything stays the same. And the third one, you probably go and trade your Damian Lillard and all these veterans and bring in a development coach, whoever that might be. But for those of you who haven't heard, the New York Knicks are extremely interested in trying to trade for Damian Lillard and believe they could acquire a superstar of his caliber and potentially himself. And this is all being reported by Bleacher Report. So this is extremely interesting in my opinion. I think, and I've spoken to a couple of Knicks fans very recently, you know, to hear their thoughts and opinions on this whole matter, just to, of course, get some backup opinions so I don't maybe trigger you Knicks fans a little bit too much, but I've, you know, talked to them, I've heard their, of course, trade suggestions and how they think this could potentially go and whether or not they sh think they should, you know, maybe go out and trade for Damian Lillard, and of course, all of them literally said, yes, get Damian Lillard to the team right now. If there is any opportunity the New York Knicks can get Damian Lillard, it is a must because I think the number one positional need probably for this New York Knicks team is could be center, but I've actually got it as point guard because, of course, you know, Emmanuel quickly is playing a lot of two off the bench now, a lot of that shooting guard. You know, uh, they have struggled through this point guard for so long. They brought in Derek Rose, who I do expect for them to potentially re sign him. I did make a video, you know, on the whole Derek Rose and New York Knicks situation and whether or not they will re sign him which I highly recommend you guys go and check out, of course, on my channel. But other than that, Alfred Payton, he started every single game. He's not that great. Manuel quickly is more playing the two now. The only real point guard they have is, of course, Derek Rose. And some people believe he should be more of a two now in the NBA as well. But who is going to be that starting point guard for the future? Some people are saying they're going to go out and get Lonzo Ball and free agency. But why not have a swing at Damian Lillard? There is still a chance that the Portland Trailblazers stuff this up and don't bring in whoever Damian Lillard wants and he requests a trade. And there is a chance that they just say, hey, you know, it's not working right now. We got to trade Damian Lillard. What, what coach could they bring in? Could also be the next question after that. But again, the Knicks have assets to, of course, get Damian Lillard to the team. Of course, I think RJ Barrett and Julius Randle will be the two untouchables, of course. You know, Derek Rose will probably come back to this team. But after speaking to some Knicks fans, I think I've got a pretty conclusive trade package that I think would, you know, be very good for the Trailblazers and very good to the Knicks. Now, you've also got to think about as well the fact that the Rockets were able to get a couple of nice role players and eight first round picks out of James Harden. I think James Harden is a lot better than Damian Lillard, but I still think Lillard is probably worth about, I'd say four future first round picks, just because I think the role players that the Knicks are about to give up are a little bit better. You know, of course the Knicks will offer up their, I think it's pick 22 or something they have. They'll offer that, that pick and they'll offer up, pick, uh, offer up pick 18, which I think is what the Mavericks have. So that's, you know, two middle first round picks that I think the Trailblazers would like. And then, of course, two first round picks in the future. And then here's where it comes in interesting. The young talent, which I think the New York Knicks will offer. I think they will keep hold of Emmanuel quickly. I don't think they'll trade him. I think they'd trade Obi Toppin, who was, of course, last year's eighth overall pick. You know, that's a top 10 pick, dude, right there. Kevin Knox will be thrown into this. He still has some potential in the NBA. If he just improved that tank... And got some more consistency. I think he'd be an alright player for any young team. So, of course, he was the ninth overall pick a couple years ago. You bring in him. He's a nice role player. And then I think you bring in, of course, Mitchell Robinson. 
And that is still a pretty nice package. You know, those are three nice young players that would probably all start for that Trailblazers team, especially if they blew it up. And of course, four future first round, you know, four picks, which would be really nice. It could actually be more. Again, it might be five picks. It could be two this year and three in the future. If you're the Knicks, yes, this is a lot to give up. But for a dude like Damian Lillard, there is no way you don't give this up. I think a lot of Knicks fans can agree. Because if you bring in Damian Lillard and get that superstar that, again, there is reports there is a big name superstar that is about to join the Knicks. In my opinion, I think it's DeMar DeRozan. I think a lot of people uh, would probably agree with me it's probably DeMar DeRozan. But if you can bring in Damian Lillard and DeMar DeRozan, you could be the best team in the ace. That is pretty much three all-stars and a bunch of elite role players. Let's look at this team. Damian Lillard at point guard, RJ Barrett at shooting guard, DeMar DeRozan at small forward, Julius Randle at power forward, and I think they'll go out and sign a center in free agency. I've said for the longest time, I think they could even sign Drummond. Drummond did not play that well with the Lakers. There's rumors that they kind of want to bring him back, but they're not too sure on it. Drummond is from New York. If Drummond does not go to the Lakers, which who knows, after this series, a lot of people are saying he won't. If he doesn't you know, get a contract back from the Lakers, and goes to, you know, a team like the Knicks. Again, imagine that. Lillard at point, Barrett at shooting guard, uh, DeRozan at small forward, Randall at power forward, Drummond at center. With off the bench, you would have Derrick Rose as your backup point guard, Emmanuel Quickly as your backup shooting guard, Alec Burks as your backup small forward. They probably get a veteran power forward, and then, of course, maybe a backup center like Taj Gibson, who's another veteran they'll probably look to bring back, or even Nerlens Noel, who had a very, very good season for them as well. You could have literally a team with like 15 very, very solid players. And that team, you've got three All-Stars in there, and a former All-Star like, you know, Andre Drummond, a player like RJ Barrett, who could be an All-Star in the future. Wow, that's an elite starting five, that could be one of the best teams in the A's, could be one of the best teams in the NBA, plus a very, very good bench, a very, very good coach. If you're the New York Knicks, you 100% make this happen. What is three first-round picks to a contending team? Not that much. And those two first-round picks they have this year, they probably won't really look to take anyone with them at all. You know, again, if they don't get a trade done, whether it's Colin Lenny Towns or maybe Damian Lillard now, then you probably go ahead and select players with those picks and then, of course, trade them off later. But it, it, it will be extremely interesting to see how they, of course, do go about this. And if you're a Trailblazers fan, I think you win as well because you can look to, you know, trade McCollum. Let's just say, I, I honestly believe like a team like the Lakers will trade for McCollum. I, I think there's some nice plays you can get back from them. You know, you could get probably two first round picks. Uh, Kyle Kuzma, you'd probably get back in like a Montrez Harrell. Those two role players and two first round picks, I think, would be pretty nice. Um, you know, Norman Powell, he'd, he'd probably just walk in free agency. You'd probably trade Robert Covington, probably could get a late first out of him. After all of these trades happen, after they blow up the team, they could literally have like 10 first round picks plus, you know, a starting five of whoever they draft a point guard or unless they decide to. Uh, who knows? There, there have been some young point guards they could potentially be kind of linked to, but, you know, at center, you'd probably have Mitch Robinson, power forward, Obi Toppin, Kevin Knox, a small forward, uh, Kyle Kuzma off the bench, Montrez Harrell, everyone you take in the first round will probably be there as well, and Nazir Little would come off the bench, you know, uh, potentially as well. You trade away Yusuf Nurkic, get some picks, Simons would probably start at point guard, uh, and then maybe, like, a player like Derek Jones that they'd probably bring back, start at shooting guard. Still a pretty nice team. It's probably the worst team, of course, in the West. But a lot of young players and a lot of picks, plus a new coach. It could be the ideal situation for the Portland Trailblazers. And again, you practically have like eight, you know, first round picks in the future, which you can look to get some dudes in. Uh, and of course, some young players in. Like Obi Toppin could still be a very, very nice player for an NBA team. They have a Mitch Robinson as well. So, of course, I'd very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Do you guys think the New York Knicks should, of course, trade for Damian Lillard? Do you guys think the Portland Trailblazers should, of course, trade away Damian Lillard? Of course, I'd very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, my IRO slash long channel. Again, comment who you guys think will win, you know, maybe these trades. As I was saying, leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Do the